Hello Pirates, we're going through Bounty, it's December 2018 and I see a lot of people struggling to build Conquerors, struggling to have Conquerors working, so I decided to put a video out. Not many people like sharing their Conqueror builds, so what I want to do here is a bit different. It show the basic principles you need to observe when building your own Conquerors. And I'm going to only use Tier 7 Conquerors as examples. But they apply if you're building tier 6, tier 8, whatever conquerors pretty much. I mean, you're going to need some things on all of them that you should pay attention to so your build has some chance of success, at least. Uh, there are many tier 7 conqueror hulls. Uh, six of them are regular ships. Uh, you can see them here on the left, the right, and then bottom. Uh, the Onslaught, the Strike Cruiser, Missile Strike Cruiser, Impact Cruiser, Ifrit, Witch Doctor, Revenant, these are the regular Tier 7 guys. And then there are the three Poseidon flagships, the Poseidon Mauler, the Poseidon uh, Vanguard, and the Poseidon Hurricane. They all have a specialty, the regular one, so for instance the Onslaught specializes in explosive damage. The Impact Cruiser is specialized in only ballistic damage. So you gotta pick the right ship and then the right weapon to go with it. Otherwise it doesn't, in, in general it doesn't work unless you're doing a very niche specialized build. But again, this video is for the basics of getting it right. So don't, don't get fancy before you master the basics. You can use these conquerors just to hit bases or to even defend your own base, to hit the, your opponent replica bases during bounty. You cannot use them successfully to hit any other map targets, keep that in mind. I see people sometimes getting these conquerors thinking they're going to do their Forsaken mission with them. You won't. I'll start with armors. This is the simplest part. The main use of armors on conquerors is to add deflection. So read the armors. They have to be adding deflection to your conquerors. More deflection means they will be able to take more hits and they'll last longer. The other armors you may want to use on Conquerors are simply those that increase armor points, flat armor points, evade, speed, splash damage reduction, tactical field resistance. Do not use armors that give you resistance, like 18% resistance against ballistic damage. That doesn't work on Conquerors. Anything that's percentage-based resistance doesn't work, it has to be deflection. So I'm showing here when you open the game and you want to select an armor, the ones marked in yellow are the best options you may have. They are all named here, CTCO plates one, two, three, these are the green ones. MC plates one, two, three, they're here at the top and then here. And the XR plates one, two, three, which are also marked here. Each one of them will give you deflection for a pair of damage types. There are a total of six possible damage types. Each one covers a pair. The basic rules to add armor on Conquerors is, and in the end for tier seven, even after you do everything right, they're still gonna be a bit weak against at least two damage types. Keep that in mind. No tier seven Conqueror is a well-rounded ship. They always have a, a weak spot. So the level 3 armors, you can only put 1 per ship. The level 2, you can only put 2 per ship. And the level 3, you can... Sorry, the level 1, then you can put 3 of them per ship. But they're almost useless. So let's assume, when you get started, that every tier 7 Conqueror you're going to build now will have one level 3 plate of each type. Okay, one of each. So it's going to look like this. Every time you start building a Conqueror, and some people will only add the armor after they rank the ships because it's cheaper to repair. That makes perfect sense. But whenever you get to adding armor to your Conquerors, start like this. One CTCO3, one XR3, one MC3. All right? Then once you put the weapons on your Conqueror, most weapons, the Tier 7 Conqueror weapons, they all add deflection. So you're going to see, right? Before the scatter guns, this witch doctor had 50k, 50,000 penetrative deflection. You add some scatter guns, and now it has 66, and that's solely based on the weapons giving it more deflection. 
once you have that mix right, now you decide what you want to use on the remaining two slots. Every tier seven conqueror has five slots. So start to those three basic must have, and then play with the other two as you wish. Put some level two plates. Maybe you need some MC2, maybe you need some XR2, maybe you need some CTCO2, or maybe you want to put that new uh, SL armor that only gives slow and stun resistance, but gives you a lot of extra armor points. It doesn't matter, but start with these three. Okay, so here's an example in the end. I put an MC2, I put a CTCO2. So when I look at it here, the ship is primarily weaker against explosive and radioactive. These are the two weaker values on this ship. Talking about weapons now, looking at the six conquerors here on the left, like I said, each one of them is specialized in one weapon type. So stick to that. That's the basic rule. And, and, and it's going to work. I've listed the tier 7 weapons that were released specially for these holes. I mean, they can work in other holes, but they were made for these guys. They all add deflection. And in bold, you're going to see my preferred weapon. For if, if In case you're in doubt, for instance, it, most people will agree that the Siege Missile D55X works better to hit bases than the D55M. And in some cases, like the Ifrit, there's only one weapon and, and that's it. If you want to build one of the three flagships, the flagship, they're hybrid, so they can work in pairs as well. So the Poseidon Mauler can either be built the same as an Onslaught or the same as a Missile Storm Cruiser. My only advice is don't mix. Don't do it half missile, half rockets, because then when you're picking specials, it, you're never going to be able to optimize that. Either you build the Poseidon Mauler as you would an Onslaught or as you would a Missile Storm Cruiser. Or you can build it as a countermeasure ship. Same with the Poseidon Vanguard, either build as an Impact Cruiser or as an Ifrit. And the Poseidon Hurricane, you either build as a Witch Doctor or as a Revenant. All right. For two of them, for the Impact Cruiser and the Witch Doctor, there are now some tier 8 weapons, they're really heavy, so you can only like have one or two of them in these ships, or, and otherwise they're going to be overweight. But there, it, it's an option as well, you can, you can mix a little bit. So here are some examples of what we've seen so far. Here's on the left a Witch Doctor. I put 6 Hex scatter guns. I put 2 of the tier 8 raised scatter gun. The basic armor combo, the level 3, one of each. And then I mixed, uh, you know, two, one CTCO2, one MC2. So you look at it here. Weak against explosive, weak against radioactive, very strong against corrosive. And penetrate would be the second most effective one. Look at this Revenant loaded with the Havoc Gatling gun. Pick a bit of a different mix here. XR2, MC2. So now it's weaker, the weakest deflection is against corrosive. Then there's a bunch of average ones, but it's strongest against concussive and secondly against ballistic. The, the special case is the countermeasure ship. So, so it's good to have one conqueror built as a countermeasure ship, and then you can put one in the fleet when you need it. Uh, you can use any conqueror. Uh, as your countermeasure ship. Here in the picture I have a Revenant, but could be a Witch Doctor, could be a Missile Storm Cruiser, doesn't matter. Just build one as a countermeasure ship. I'll talk about the specials later, but you know the, the difference is that countermeasures, they add each one of them two different types of deflection, so it kind of balances the ship out a little bit more. You won't find any value here at 50k, all of them are like 58 is the lowest. Right, so it makes it a little bit better. There are three countermeasures that we can use on conquerors, um, and you just pick the two or three that you need to mix. Uh, like right now, people are using a lot of the conservator because it's against scatter guns and against, sorry, against radioactive and ballistic. So there's a lot of ballistic fire, and there's the cathodic one against concussive and corrosive. Fairly common, especially the. Corrosive fire right now. 
Let's move on to special. So we kind of sorted basic armor rules, basic weapon rules per hole, and now let's look at the basic specials you need. Every time you build a conqueror to hit bases, not to defend, to hit bases, you're going to need speed. And there are pretty much two options for you to pick from right now. Speed System 6 or Strike System 5. Both will give you speed. Strike System 5 gives more combat speed, a lot less turn speed. Um, the Speed System 6 gives you some evade. Strike System gives you other benefits, especially if you're using missiles. It's good. You will need stun, slow, and tactical fuel resistances along with evade. So here I'm talking about four statistics. Stun, resistance, low resistance, tactical field resistance, and evade. These four, I group them together because they can pretty much be provided by two specials. Either you combine Agility System 4 with Tactical Insulator, or you combine Shielded Circuitry with Hyper 30. The difference is Tactical Insulator is not limited, so you can use as many times as you want. Agility System 4 is limited, but they're, they're, it's always on offer. It's easy to get. So I'm going to say these two are more readily available to most players. Shielded Circuitry and Hyper 30 are harder to get, so many players won't have them. But if you do, they're better. So I favor this combo here, Hyper 30 and Shielded Circuitry. If you don't have it, then use the other combo, Agility 4, Tactical Insulator. And they will give you a mix of all four statistics. The benefit is like when you use the Hyper 30, you also get Splash Damage Reduction and you also get uh, Speed. So there are more bonus, bonuses than just these four. The other thing you need most likely is Turret Defense and Building Damage and usually you get these two from a battery. Either Garrison Battery, Siege Battery, or Assault Battery, one of the three. If you're building a, a, a ship with weapons, you're going to want one of these three. Unless, again, there are corner cases where people don't, don't use them, but I'm just talking about the basic rules so you don't get it wrong. So, just on this page, all, all of these Tier 7 ships, they have six special slots, and I just covered four. Pick one for speed, one for turret and build, defense and building damage, and two for your overall defensive statistics. So now here are some examples. I'm working on the same Revenant ship. The one on the left now has Siege Battery 4 because there is no Assault Battery or Explosive Battery it will not help Concussive Weapons, so it has to be Siege. It's the generic one. Now you have Building Damage here, and you have turret defense, up from 45 to 50%. You have speed, which helped you with evade a little bit, and you have stun, slow resistance, and more evade, and here you have tactical field resistance and more evade. So these are the four. I'm going to say that again. Some more specialized builds may not use these specials. They may say, you know what, I'm just going to go with the basic tactical field resistance the hull has. I don't need the extra. Fine. Freeze up a slot to build something else. I'm just working through the basics here. And here's the other option with Hyper 30 and Shielded Circuitry. Uh, you cannot see on the picture, but the ship on the right is faster. The ship on the right also has, you can barely see here, some 30% splash damage reduction. It has a little bit less evade compared to this one. 63 here, 43 here. It also has only 70% tactical field resistance versus 75 here. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Same example now here with the Missile Storm Cruiser loaded with D55X with a combination of armors. Here I'm using Assault Battery because it gives penetrative damage. Same here on the right with the Witch Doctor. It gives corrosive damage buffs on top of the building damage. And in both of them I'm using... Uh, strike system 5. This one already gives the missiles the extra range they need, so it saves you a special. And it makes the ships really fast. So the ship on the right here, this is an overall very fast Witch Doctor with the extra bonus from Hyper 30 and Strike System. 
build code. So at this point, if you want to look in the video description, I've pasted build codes you can reuse in your shipyard for all the six ships, but they're not complete. I'm not sharing complete builds. All I'm sharing is every, every build has the three armor plates I, I talked about. They all have four specials. And I picked Hyperturgeon's Shielded Circuitry overall. Feel free to replace with Agility System 4 and Tactical Insulator. Uh, they have all weapons, the specific weapon for that type of ship. No countermeasures at all. And no tactical modules. So all you, ha all you have to do is choose the remaining two armor plates. Choose the remaining two specials. And choose a tactical module. And then your Conqueror will be complete. There is a seventh code, and that's for an Ifrit ship loaded with countermeasures. If you don't have Ifrit, you can just pick any other tier 7 hull and build the same. It's just I wanted to share a countermeasure ship. So just scroll down the video description on YouTube, and you're going to find all these codes, and you can select, copy, and paste them into your game. Take it from there. For the last two specials, I'm just making a few suggestions here. No specifically right or wrong, it depends what you want to do. I'm not going to read one by one. I've only highlighted Siege Targeting 4 because it can actually go on any ship. This increases building damage by a lot. And you can always use that. The other thing I should have highlighted on the Impact Cruiser, it's a must-have to use either Augmented Ballistic Armament or Cannon System 5 because the cannons need them for extra range, otherwise your ship is very ineffective. So You can pick two of these specials, depending on the ship, and they're going to work. Pause the video here if you want to read them. I'm just going to move on. The other option for the last two specials as well, for most of these ships, they have something called Scope and Force. So the Onslaught, you're going to find the Explosive Force, the Explosive Scope. The force specials, they will give you minus 9% range, plus 15% damage. The scope specials will be the opposite. They'll give you plus 9% range, minus 15% damage. That's the rule of thumb. Some of them are 10% instead of 9%, but whatever. Uh, that's true for explosive, penetrative, ballistic, and radioactive. Corrosive and concussive, we still don't have anything released in the game. But we can see uh, the scope, corrosive scope and concussive force are there, have just not been released yet. But we can assume eventually they'll also have a pair just like the others. So these are options for more specialized builds if you want longer range or shorter range, more damage. If you're still confused on the basics, forget about this. Go back one page, pick from this list. Tactical modules are the final touch on your ships. The tier 7 Conquerors cannot have a tactical module. You can pick from the EMP overload to stun your enemies, the drones, but the drones will cause you more repair. Field extinguisher to clear ice and fire and oil fields that the base is throwing at you as you're trying to attack. Tactical focus gives just a 5% damage bonus, it's not much, and the reconstruction matrix will heal other ships in your fleet at the expense of the ship using the reconstruction matrix. So be smart how you use this. Basic mix, if you want to get started, I mean, you can have one EMP overload in the leading ship. It's going to be taking more damage. And every X amount of damage is going to trigger an EMP. It's going to stun the enemies and gives you a reprieve when you're attacking. One fire extinguisher to clean up ice fields slowing you down, fire fields burning you up, oil slick fields and whatnot. And then you just take it from there. I mean, you can leave the slots blank sometimes. Sometimes you'll have your weapons and you don't want a tactical module at all. My final advice is do not use multiple reconstruction matrices because if you have two ships with them and they're close to each other, they'll start healing each other to death. I've seen that happening sometimes and I just laugh. Uh, basic rule, just have one of those in your fleet, no more than one. You can have zero, but never more than one. It doesn't make sense. So that's it. I hope you can now build good conquerors and enjoy hitting bases or hitting replica bases during bounty. If you're going to use conquerors for defense, a so final word, 
Just remove the speed special, remove the turret defense special, and add specials increasing damage, reload, and range. That's it. Subscribe to my channel, and if you want to learn now how to build a better defense, take a look at my base clinic series. That's it for today. Enjoy the game. See you later. Merry Christmas, everyone.